All right, today we're going to be multiplying with integers. So, multiplying integers. And it's pretty easy. It's a lot easier than adding and subtracting, actually. So, here's what your rules are. Your rules. Sometimes we have steps, sometimes we have rules. And in this case, we're going to have a rule. First rule, same sign equals a positive answer. If they have the same sign, then it's going to equal a positive answer. Different sign, or different signs, actually, your answer will come out to be a negative answer. Same signs, positive answer. Different signs, negative answer. I think I'm going to add an S in here just to make that sound better. Same signs, positive answer. Different signs, negative answer. So here, let's do a few examples. If you have 6 times 7, most of us know that. That's pretty easy. 42. They were both positive, so you get a positive answer. Now, let's take one of those and say 6 times a negative 7. Well, this time, you have a positive, you have a negative. So the answer is still going to be 42, but because the signs are different, we're going to have a negative answer. Let's try another one. What if you have negative 6 times a negative 7? You're still going to multiply 6 times 7 and get 42, but this time, what about your signs? Your signs are the same. So you will end up with a positive 42. One more. What if you have negative 6 times a positive 7? 6 times 7 is still 42. But because your signs are different, you will get a negative answer. And it's that simple. Main thing you need to remember, if your signs are the same, you get a positive answer. If your signs are different when you're multiplying, you get negative answers. See you next time.